Hi everyone! In my previous video, I have shown you a very useful information page that has multiple tabs in Power BI. And we can then click the various tabs and it will then display various information. In this video, I will show you how we can create this from scratch in Power BI Desktop by using bookmark and bookmark navigations. And step number one is to create one page for each tab that you want to show in your information tab. Now earlier we had six tabs, so I have added six pages in Power BI Desktop. I have one page for source data, I have one page for glossaries, I have one page for report owner, for update log, refresh schedules, and one page for the front page last updated. Now, as you can see in here, I simply add a field and basically type in the text. So hopefully you know how to do that. It's really, really simple. All you need to do is just go insert text box and pretty much type in relevant information. Once you have done that, you need to make sure that number one, each tab has the same title. Notice in here, I have included PNL report information page as a title in all the information tabs. So every single tab has the same title. Another thing that will make things look good is to create a box, a box that will just tie all the pages together neatly. And to do that, all you need to do is just insert shapes and click rectangle like this, make it bigger, change the color, click shape, style, make the color white, make it transparent, 100%, and now we have a box, but it's blue. So let's change the border color, go to style again, and let's make them gray. All right, now it's looking good, but I like rounded corner. So let's make the corner round. Click shape and add 10 points. And look at that, it is now looking neater. Once you have created one box, one rectangle, all we need to do is just copy that, Control C and press Control V across all the pages. Now, everything look nice and uniform. Okay, now we've got our boxes for each tab. That's step one done. Step two, let's create a bookmark for each tab. Go to view, click bookmarks, so that the bookmark pane is now shown on the right over here. And let's start creating a bookmark by clicking add. So the first bookmark is for last refresh. So just double click that, last refresh, and then go to the next tab, create another bookmark, call it refresh schedule. So a bookmark is something that can help you to navigate to that page. So when I click last refresh in here, watch, I'm now going into last refresh page. And then when I click refresh schedule, I will now go into refresh schedule page. So we need to create a bookmark for each one of our tab. So to do that, click update lock, click add. And then rename it so that it's more meaningful. And then go to the next tab and add another bookmark, name it report owner and then go to another tab create it again and name it glossaries good and last one source data and step two is done the next step is to group the bookmark that we have just created together so just press shift and click everything and then right click and hit group 
Now rename them into info. Now once you have grouped a bookmark, then neatly arrange. Oops, just realized that source data was left out. It should be part of info. What to do? Don't worry. All you need to do is just drag them into part of the group. And now it's neatly grouped. Next, let's insert navigational bookmark. Go to insert, buttons, navigator, bookmark navigator. And notice something is immediately created. These are buttons, buttons that represents one box for each bookmarks that we have. So notice we have, if we open up these bookmark groups, we have 10 bookmarks over here. And therefore we have 10 boxes over here. And if you click them, it will bring you to these various pages. Now, notice also when you are in Power BI Desktop, you need to press Control click in order to move around and use this bookmark. Whereas when you are in Power BI Surface, all you need to do is just click. Now, we have 10 boxes in here, which is a little bit too many. We only want the six. Therefore, we need to modify this bookmark. How do we do that? We click the bookmark and then we go to bookmarks. And instead of selecting all in the drop down box, change that to info, which is our group, bookmark group that we have recently created, the grouping of the six, which we want. And then after that, we can drag this and put it on top of our boxes. Now, there is one more thing that I want to do. I want to format this bookmark navigator so that the corner is more rounded. How do we do that? Again, click it and then go to shape and make the rounded corner 10 points. And then after that, let's get rid of the space in between. How do we do that? Again, click the bookmark and then go to grid layout and then remove the padding. Make it zero point. Now it's looking so much better already. And after we have done that in one page, what we can do is we can click it, press Ctrl C and press Ctrl V in every tab. And we're done. Let's move on to the last steps. We are now going to hide all the tabs and only show the first tab. So you can right click, hide. Now in Power BI Desktop, this is not hidden. You can still see it. But when you publish this to Power BI Surface, these pages are no longer visible. So all you will see is just the first page and we're going to show the first page and rename it as info. And then we're going to save and hit publish. And this is what we're going to see in Power BI Surface. You will see only one info page, everything else hidden, and you can click them like that. And those are the six steps required to create a one-page information in Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and see you next time.